What is up, everybody? What's going on? It's me, Jill, aka Rose Master. Welcome back to the another video, guys. And today, I'm going to show you how to get Pack a Punch on Shadows of Evil, guys. And I was too lazy to um, get on the game and while I'm on the game and get Pack a Punch on Shadows of Evil. I was really too lazy, so I'm using a previous clip, which was one hour and 25 minutes. We tried to do the Easter egg, but we didn't. So. Without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm just waiting till this game loads. And I'm doing this with uh, three other people. It would help for um you got for you guys to have your friends play with you because it it would be better. You were cursed. You must go. And I got 600. You're the one I saw it. So first you turn it to the beast. You're going to want to shock the electric by um by a quick revive, then you're gonna want to destroy the box on the truck, then you'll get the the summoning key. And then you're gonna wanna shock the thing whatever, and then you'll get the lawyer's pen. Okay guys. And uh, when you do that, you guys wanna kill the summoners this the whatever they're called. The summoners, I don't know. But um, I think they're called the keepers, whatever, whatever he just said. But basically, what we're gonna need to do is we are going to need to go to the first ritual room, which I will be going in right now. But this is not me playing; this is my brother playing. He's like, Daniel, come over here. And um, uh, so yeah, let's let's fast forward it. Then and now we are doing the ritual guys all you guys need to do is walk up to the table and grab both of your uh, thingy my bobbers what you got to do is got place the lawyer's pad and the summoner's key and so all you got to do is run around the room and avoid the keepers and we got double points over there, but we are trying to do this in one round. So yeah, I told you it'd be useful to have like everybody, so you could like get it in one round. And now I get to do the beast, I think. Bam. What you gotta do, you wanna shock that. And then you're gonna want to break this door. And that leads to the rift where Pack-A-Punch is. And then you're gonna want to grapple over there. You're gonna wanna uh, melee the box. Then just run down there. You don't have to jump because jumping will waste your time. You just wanna sprint down there. You know, break that door. And then you're gonna... And then that's it. You can return to um, your normal human form. But... And then you're gonna want to, to pick up the championship belt, which my uh, teammates picked up. It's of uh, the box where I broke it, where I told you guys to jump. And so I will open the door, and now we are heading into the wrestling room, which death occurred, okay? But uh, we are heading to the room, and we are going to uh, do the ritual. So let's do it. Ritual, ritual, and now all you guys want to do is you guys are just gonna run around easily. And if you guys are doing this with four people, you guys could just you know knife the summoners, and it'll be easily done. Keepers, whatever they're called, kill the zombies too, but make sure you leave one. And right there, there you go, bam. Now it doesn't matter who takes the gate warp where it's just somebody takes the gate work and now every two rituals a margua will spawn but um if you're doing this on round one or trying to get pack a bunch of round one level one margwas are really easy so no need to worry so basically the margwa follows me this time and what you want to do you want to target his face okay so keep on shooting at his face and he'll die so let's keep on going, keep on going. And 
uh, the, there you go. We killed the Margua spot. Uh, we killed the Margua spot. And we got Max Ammo, which is perfect. And when you kill the Margua, the Margua will be guaranteed to drop something. Either a tentacle or heart. Or something else, guys, that I do not know. But, uh, it's guaranteed to probably be a heart, not a tentacle. So now, we are heading to the third one, guys. We are not going to the canals. We are going to... Oh, wait. Yeah, we are. Uh, this time, we split into groups because we each have our beasts. Now, my friend David will do this beast. And we can... Uh, let's see. Let's switch to uh, him. And now, he is doing that. Bam. There you go. Uh, let's, uh, go back a bit. Skip back, skip back, skip back, skip back. Okay, too much. And now, you guys just wait. We gotta kill this, uh, Margua. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but, um, this is my first time doing a voiceover, but, you know, stuff happens. But, um, now we split it to groups, and now he's gonna turn it to the beast. You guys are gonna, gonna drop down there, uh, Mealy that box, open that door to the rift, and then come down here and electrocute that bo electricity box. And now you guys want to grapple up there, go into the ruby rabbit, and then shock that right there. And what you're going to do after this, you are going to want to uh, either go over there or do something else. But um, if you can't make it at time. But uh, switching back to my perspective, um... I think we are going to go back again, but we are going to Dogalistics, Cobras, Let me skip back to where we're supposed to be. Here it goes, guys. So basically, what he needs to do, or did he already do it? Because I'm looking for the beast form of what he did. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, he will be doing the beast like right about... Now, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really bad, guys. I'm very sorry about this. But I'm um, now we're heading to our individual spots. I'm right over here. Nostalgic Cobra Seven, whatever your name is. Sorry, I don't know what your name is, but um, basically we split into two groups, as I said, and now he is going to do his curse power. He found his fumigator, but whatever. And so basically, what you're going to want to do on this one, you're going to want to turn on the beast right there. You are going to want to grapple up there, if you could grapple up there. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to shock that speed cooler or whatever perk that's there. If you can even shock it, then you're going to want to shock that right over there. Then you're going to want to jump over there and do that right over there. And then once you're done with that, what you're going to want to do, you're going to head up those stairways and go up there. And now you guys are going to want to shock that box. And that's what you really want to do, guys. But um, heading back to my perspective. So basically we're done. And now we're heading to um, the strippers club, whatever it's called. And now we're going to do that. So let's fast forward, please. And now we're here. And now we are going to start it. There you go, guys. And this is our third ritual set. You guys can do it in any order you guys want. We just think this order is the best. Well, I actually do the Magician's Place, the Boxer's Place, and then the Sheriff's Place. I don't do the Sheriff's Place last, but um, they decided to uh, do this first. But so, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the Margoa will spawn every two rituals. So the next ritual, the last ritual, will spawn a Margoa, guys. And you guys can see, it's still round one. So we're going to need a speed forward. Oh, wait.
Okay, guys, we are at the Ruby Rabbit. I think that's what it is called. But uh, I placed the first virtual item, and now we are picking up the parts for shield. I will explain that probably in the next tutorial video, or I'll show you guys how to get the swords. So, yeah. So now, what we're doing is we're waiting for the other two. And we see them right now. They're coming right up, and then... We'll destroy the Bygore, guys. I'm sorry this video is taking so long, but, you know, for Pete's sake, whatever. And now, the virtual has started. Now, all you guys gotta do is just run around. I'll fast forward four times. And then you'll probably be done by now. When he starts screaming, you're done. And I want the gummy worm. That's what I call it. The gate worm, or whatever. Right there. Bam! Look at that. I got it. So... Next, I'll buy with spots, and now we're just gonna shoot him because we got a max ammo, and now we get to waste our level one bullets, so it doesn't matter. But uh, we have some trouble doing this, but I come in clutch, okay? Just watch, look at this, 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 people, look at this, people, look at this, people. And now I come and pick him up, and then my friend goes down, but then, you know, I come in clutch, and then he is gonna go down again, but then I'm gonna revive my friend, which then the Mago comes in, but then I come in clutch, and then I go revive him again, so basically, I, I'm doing everything right now, but, um, yeah, guys, and then we kill the Margua. Well, we will kill the Margua, but, you know, we had some uh, bad coordinations with um, this other guy we were playing with, so. So now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna. Okay, now we're heading to the rift, guys. What you guys need to do, you guys are needed to go into those openings that I told you to open when you were in the beast's form. So, basically, the gate war get worms you're gonna need to place them on those four things but um uh yeah just those four things you guys should know and then you guys would wall run and everything so yeah just just to complete the ritual guys and then after this pack a punch will be done guys and still guys you can still knife those uh keepers or whatever they're called because it is still round one and it doesn't really matter Yep, yep, and that's how you get pack a punch but uh, right now we're going to do the eggs, and I'll explain that probably in my next tutorial video, which, who knows, shield, the upgraded sword, or just the sword, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys, if you did, whatever, this is probably coming out on Saturday, so who cares, so see ya, and peace.